Hi, beautiful people. It's Courtney. I'm back today with a 100% honest, underrated slime shop review video. If you are interested in sending a package for one of these videos, make sure to check out the highlight on my slime Instagram called Review Policy for more details. So before we hop into it, I am having a giveaway right now for an iPad running until the end of April. And all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, my vlog channel, and follow both of my Instagrams. All of those will be listed down below in the description box so you could just click and follow all of them and then you'll be automatically entered to win. So let's get started with package number one from Summer's Slime Co. So this package was really cute. It came with a cute sticker, a little uh, bracelet, and then some extras, and then the slimes of course. So she actually sent five slimes. They were all so pretty, but I always tell people like I only review three slimes per shop, so the others were just extras for me to have. So I just chose three of what looked to be my favorite. So the first one was called Peach Puff, and this one was super nice. It was scented just like peach, and it had a really nice peach scent. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of like peach smells, but this one was really nice. And this was a layered slime. So it's layered um, pink, which is a clay slime, and then the orange layer is a jelly slime. So it mixes into like a really nice kind of inflatable texture. This one was great for poking. It was absolutely incredible, and the texture was just really nice and soft and had some really nice bubble pops as well so I really enjoyed this one and I also thought their packaging was super cute This next one is called Giraffe Taffy and it came with this adorable giant giraffe charm which I thought was so cute and I absolutely love the color on this one. It's like a pinkish purple and it was so sizzly. This was a really nice kind of clay slime and I just thought the texture was really really nice, very soft and spreadable and just overall amazing. It was scented very like fruity so I really enjoyed this one and like I said the color was just beautiful. I loved it so much. I was so impressed with the quality of their slimes and as always I will list all the slime shops that I'm mentioning in this video in the description box down below if you want to check them out yourselves. And the last slime that I chose to kind of pick out of those five slimes was this one called Hawaiian Fruit Crunch. Now this one was a really nice snow fizz texture and it was topped with some Fimo slices and of course it was scented like Hawaiian Punch. It was so so sizzly. It was a little bit on the sticky side even after activating it so I didn't want to make it too stiff. It just left a slightest bit of residue but overall I thought this one was really nice and a really fun crunchy texture. The next slime shop is Brighter Slime and some of you may recognize them. I have reviewed them once before and I absolutely loved their slime so I am so excited. So I got some candy extras and then of course the slimes. Now they sent four so again I'm going to be reviewing three of them and it came with a little business card and this first one was called Holy Moly and this was a guacamole and inspired slime and it comes with some foam pieces. It was super, super thick and glossy. Now the scent on this currently was like a gummy bear, but they're also changing it to a lime margarita to kind of fit in with the name more. But I thought this scent smelled so amazing. It was so good and the texture on this was absolutely incredible. It was great for poking and had amazing bubble pops. I loved it so, so much.
This next slime is the Brighter Slime Official Cloud Slime. And you guys, look how beautiful this is. It's kind of like a pastel rainbow inspired slime. And this cloud slime was absolutely incredible. It fluffed up like probably the biggest I've ever seen a cloud slime fluff up. And it had such a nice drizzle to it. It was so, so soft, yet so drizzly. I, this was almost like the perfect cloud recipe. I loved it so much and it left zero residue. It was just literally so fluffy I could not get over it so I really enjoyed this one I love like all of their slimes I think they're great And then the last slime, this was my least favorite out of the three, but still an amazing slime as well. But if I had to choose a favorite, it would have probably been, it was such a tough tie between the first two because they were so good. This one was called Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Cream. And this was a sleigh slime. I did have to activate it a little bit. So it was like a little chunky looking, um, which I find happens a lot when you have to like go in and activate clay slimes. Um, but this one was super cute. It came with a strawberry charm and some sprinkles on top. And this was scented also just like strawberry. So I thought this one was still a really nice spreadable texture. Uh, just not as great as the first two, but all of their slimes are so incredible. I loved them so much and I am such a fan of their slimes. And the last slime shop I have for this video is Kitty Slimes. And this one, again, was a super well put together package. And they also left a little like note for you guys. So if you use I Love Courtney in the notes section when you're checking out, they'll send you some little goodies. And this package came with some note cards, or not a note card, what I'm talking about, a notebook, um, some extras, and all of that good stuff. So this first slime was called Barbie. And I really liked the way this was packaged. It was really nice. And this one was super Super fun this was actually the first slime like this I've ever tried with those like giant foam balls so I thought that was really cool they really give a really unique texture to it um, and really help like the bubble pops be amazing and so crunchy so this one was super nice I really enjoyed it and it was scented like bubble gum so this was a very like thick base and glossy and overall just a really nice and pretty slime and I think what's great is you could take these um, the larger foam beads out when you're done if you want to like make it fit back in the container a little better and then you could re-add them in in the future so I thought that was really neat. This next slime is called Rainbow Bridge, another very, very pretty like rainbow cloud slime. And it comes with a rainbow charm and lots of glitters. So this one was really nice. I loved the colors on this. It wasn't as fluffy as the previous one, but it definitely had like a lot of drizzle to it as well. And it, it was scented really nicely, just like kind of cupcake and like a bakery. So I thought this one was beautiful. It kind of mixed into like a very similar color to the last one. Both of them are kind of like a light gray color when they come combine um, but this one was really nice as well as you can see it had a really nice drizzle and no fallout This last slime is called Lavender Tea, and this one was really cool. It had like a white layer on top and then like a light purple on the bottom, and it came with some foam pieces and fine black glitter. So this one was fun to mix together. It was super, super thick and glossy, and this was scented like a mixture of citrus and lilac, so this was really nice. So as you can see, it was so, so thick. It was almost so thick, it didn't make a lot of great bubble pops, but I still really enjoyed it like it wasn't like tough or rippy at all and I think the color was beautiful on this so I was so impressed you guys like with literally all the slimes in this video but definitely let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to check out my vlog channel if you aren't already. I've been posting a ton over there. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Again, I'll leave all the details linked down below and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.